which the problem I always have trouble with is steering on the on. ground because it's Make either sure. we're going full throttle or we're going Bridge. no throttle. Auxiliary it's fuel. Way for me to it's, it's, I will let, I will, oh, there's no option on your controller to increment the throttle? I don't think so. Oh boy. Yep, oh. it's okay, I've done this before. Hang on, we might be able to do it manually with the mouse. Okay, that would be nice. Do you know, do you know, don't do it right now. Do you know which knob is the throttle in the aircraft? So there are two in the center of the console underneath three gauges. There's a red thing and a black thing. The black thing is pulled all the way out. Oh, yes, I see a little doohickey. Okay, the, the red one that is pushed Thermal in. Control. Okay, listen very carefully. The red one that is pushed in is your mixture control. All the way uh -huh. in is 100% fuel. All the way out is fuel cutoff. Do not pull the red one out. All right. I'm the throttle. Not gonna pull the red one out. The throttle is the opposite. Pulling the throttle back decreases power. Pushing the throttle in oh, increases oh, oh, power. Oh, oh, oh. You oh, yep, push. Oh, oh. I said don't do it, and yet did. you did. I didn't do anything. <laughs> On three okay, to five the seconds, then off. Mixture. Uh. Clean. Feet. Ready to break. Ignition. I am now starting my engine. Ooh. Start. Mixture. Rich when engine that. starts. There we go. My engine is on. Let me just zoom into you. Oh, there you are. Oh, look at you over there. Oh, there's two people in my aircraft. Oh, hello. That's fun. Um, adjust for 1,000 RPM. There's no wind, so we can take off from any end of the runway we want. Alright, are you looking outside your plane right now? It could be. I'm looking directly at you, actually. Alright, oh. do you see the little taxiway that goes to the runway from where you are? Um, the little road. It curves off road behind, behind you. Me. Yeah. And yep. it goes out to the big runway over to where I am? Uh-huh, yep. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to cross the runway using that road, and then okay. you're going to turn right behind me on the taxiway on this side. Okay? So you want me to end up behind you on the right. So, hang on. Let me move into position first. I'm going to... Yes. And then I'm going to have you come to me and just park right behind me. Yep, the that's, that's best. Maintaining okay. social distancing. Yep. Oh, hang on. Before I do that. You should be able to hear this. Do you have air traffic control turned on? Let's see. I have no uh, idea. Announce taxi. One Oscar 5 traffic southwest 3649er is taxiing to runway tree tree. Did you hear a Southwest Airlines call for taxi? Nope. Okay, that means you have air traffic control turned off. That's fine. Or radio communications turned off. That's fine. Actually, do you have your... um? I don't know. We don't worry about it. You don't need ATC. Yeah. Heck the ATC. There's no live traffic near us. Oh, is that? Oh, look, you can see Mount Shasta. Look at that. Mm. Isn't, that isn't that lovely? Hello. Um, oh, hi, Ethan. I think it's the big one with snow on it. Ah, that makes sense. Hi, Ethan. Hello. I'm trying okay. to teach Jared how to fly a plane. Also, Ethan, I am streaming. So please do oh. not be racist. Well, it's a little late for that. You know that I'm a professional street racer. All my other racists gather around. Oh, okay. Parking brake is off. Ooh, I got my little tail rudder going. Look at that. Okay. Increased throttle should make me go forward, right? In theory. It should, yes. I'm at 10%. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. Aha! If you feel I like... I'm going to decapitate him. Do you know how to brake? Uh, nope. I can decrease the throttle. That's about it. All right. Whee! You're going to want to find out how to brake before you get to the ass end of my plane. 
I can set the parking brake again. Okay. Uh, I know how to do that. That's a yep. way to do it. Yep, that's how that's what I know how to do. Oh me oh my. Okay, we're gonna make this turn nice and easy. Are we? Nice and easy. Are we though? We, we okay, shut up. We are. Hey, you're not that's good. You're holding a good taxi speed. There's no Thanks. traffic at the airport right now. Okay, I gotta see this. I'm firing up the old Twitch stream. The old Twitch stream. Why am I slowing down so much? What happened? Eh. I hate this library. Why did I pick yellow? You you actually have a cool on my in my end because it'll assign you a random one but from the ones I have loaded. You actually have like the classic one, the Kenmore, the like white, brown, and yellow. Ooh. Like think think of a, like a 1970s Cessna bush oh, yeah, plane. It, it is brown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brown. Get your hatchet. Ha ha ha. Okay. Um, I'm gonna decrease the throttle right about now. Yep. Um, you're going to want to try to stop right before the yellow line starts curving. Okay. This now, is hopefully now. the parking brake. Hey! Hey! It was. All right. All right. I'm going to taxi in, I'm going to taxi into position. You can pull up behind me and stop where I am oh, now. Oh, someone just took off. Oh, hello. Oh. Lee OTS. Oh, he's going back down. Nope, he's flying back up. There he goes. Oh. Okay, throttling up. Throttling up. Uh, oh, there we go. There, I'm moving now. All right. Oh boy. Just stop. Just stop where I was. Oh. I don't know. Oh I feel oh like. Oh boy. Oh no. You're okay. Just <laughs> engage the brake. Yep, hold on. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Ah, perfect. I oh, don't I August 420. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright. I'm gonna throttle up. Oh, hello, who are you? Yeah, that's the Leots guy. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna take off. Alright. Once I'm in the air, I'm gonna give you for instructions. What should I set the throttle to, just for taking off? Yes. 100% oh, throttle. Alright, maximum throttle it is. Not yet. Leots is following you. Hmm. Oh, oh, he's skirting around. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he do be vibing, though. Now oh, look at him go. Uh -huh. I'd rather not. Alrighty. Oh, okay. We're gonna be careful because you might notice there's a mountain directly in front of the runway. Oh yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah. But we should be okay. All right. I am clear. My flaps are up. You should be able to take off now. Yeet. I'm I'm eating. Oh boy, we are eating. Once you hit about 75 on the speed indicator on the left-hand side of the Garmin, slowly pull your nose up. There. 75? Yep. Alright. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, are you off the ground? Oh, yeah, I'm very much off the ground. Press Z on your keyboard. Z? Is that... What does that do? That should engage your autopilot. Alright. I'm gonna go in the cabin just to make sure. Uh, AP? Yep, it's on. Ha. I might wallow in. Bungus 420. Okay. 
Autopilot is on. And you should be climbing towards 7,000-ish. Uh, yep. Alright, um... You're going to decrease your vertical speed to about 300 feet per minute. 300? Yes. Copy. 1,200 will stall you. Don't ask me how I know. I just know. We can fly west till we hit the 101, and then go from there. Is there a way I can see what roads are on the map, or...? Nope. Ah, no. all right. There is no Google Street View, or Google View. You kind of have to do it by, we're flying what's called VFR, Visual Flight Rules, which means we have to use the landmarks around us to figure out where the fuck we is. Okay, that looks like Wairika over there. All right. Yeah, Montague Wairika is between, the airport we just took off of is between Montague and Wairika. Okay. Oh, you're all the way over there somehow. Well, I'm circling around to join up with you. Oh. So do you want to lead the way, or do you want me to lead the way? Um, I kind of know where I want to go, roughly, which is Etna. Are you about to, are you looking where you're going? Um. Ah. Getting a wee bit close to the trees, aren't I? You are. Well, that's exciting. I'm Press gonna... Z okay. and pull back on your stick. Slowly. Whee! Alright, just watch your airspeed. Don't let yep. it creep into the yellow, which is too high. And then there's, if you go too slow, you'll start to see a white line. That's your safe flap deploy speed. So don't oh, go below yeah, I'm, that. I'm at the white line. Yeah. Okay, so just okay. level up and... I'm, I'm, yep, yep, I'm now above the white line. All right. Good. Okay, so... We're gonna climb to 7,000. We don't need the autopilot for this. Wait, are you... Oh my god, hello. Yeah, just focus on flying. You're fine. Yep. Isn't it, see, once you looked away, you dipped in altitude. Just focus on what you're doing. Yeah, because I have to constantly hold the stick back for it to maintain... Yep. Constant speed. Yep, 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 yep. And it's a very sensitive stick. It is a very sense. Just you, again, you'll get a lot better feel for it once Without a, with with a joystick. This is the controller I used for Thumper, that rhythm game. So it's been ah. beat to hell and back. Yeah. Okay, Leots is someone watching the stream for sure. Well, of course. Uh, where are you going? This way. Okay. You know where you want to go, so I'm trusting Roughly. you. Well, I, I I assume that it's over here. Somewhere. Assuming is an interesting choice. It is, isn't it? Jamie, are you Liotz? I would assume so. Don't bank too hard or you will stall and slide sideways. That's all right. I do need to level out, though. Yeah, turn back around. Oh, it's this way. Yep. There we go. Nice and easy. Get back to the main road here. Okay. Actually, wait. Is this is that the road down there? Well, let me. Oop. Here, uh, get. First things first. Hmm. Climb to seven thousand. Ah. Okay. Climb to seven thousand in a straight line. Then we can find, and then we can lock that out. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 Very sensitive stick. Very sensitive. Oh, you're just flying upside down, mate. All right, okay. I see how it is. Okay. So where so are we? we so we're be, trying to go. I think we're we're about to hit Fort Jones, I think. I, uh, I that, okay, FJS, Fort Jones. That's what FJS ah, is. Wow, well, there we go. Because okay. okay. the waypoints... Yeah, that's Scott Valley. The waypoints are named for either nearby airports mm -hmm. or or they are named for common features in the area. So, like, one of the approach, approaches into Sacramento is S-U-T-T-R-3, Sutter 3. Yeah. One of the approaches into John Wayne is... 
D-I-S-N-E, Disney. So yeah, shit like that. So, Have now you... that we're in an area that I kind of know about, this is Fort Jones. It's the shitty little town. Um, is that the one right under you? The, the one that's a bit in front of me, yeah. It's Fort Jones, I think. Um, it was named for the military fort that was built in this valley. Um, I didn't know we were getting after... a tour. I'm very excited. Yes, yes. It was named for Fort... For, well, the man and the colonel in charge, who was the last time, I believe, was Jones. And then they, the soldiers here were the ones who ended up settling the valley. Um, yeah. The uh, fort was actually used in some kind of film production at one point. So it's still it's still there, but it's more just like a pile of lumber now. It's not, not very exciting. Bad. Yeah. What's your current yeah. airspeed, if I may ask? Uh, 96, 97. Oh, I'm doing 112. I'm going to have to pull my throttle back. Yep, I see Scotts Valley Airport. Ah, there, I see it now. Hell yeah. I'm going to bring my airspeed back up to 110. I feel like they have a little 3D map here. That's nice. Why'd you switch your head into? Hold on, hold on. It's it's leveling out still. What did what did you set it to on your heading indicate on your auto I'm heading? Still fiddling with it. Because I I have to fiddle with it. Because I want to follow directly down the river. It's at currently 153. There we go. Yeah, 153 should be good. Just send this straight down the valley. Uh, back in 2018, I believe it was, uh, the land due south of us mm -hmm. was just all on fire, basically. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not what it looks like anymore. Um, yeah. So, that's great. Um, I guess there is an airport here. Scott Valley. Um, little... Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, it's a pavement strip. We could land It is. There. Look at that. Pavement, even. Um, yeah, the PCT is, if you look off to our right, um, along the tips of those mountains is where the PCT runs through. Oh, wow. Yikes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yikes is one word for it. I uh, went out there and did some trail maintenance with my grandfather a couple years back. Uh, yeah. Beautiful area, though. If you ever want to just get away for a bit, like, it doesn't look like much from the air, but this is a gorgeous valley. Ugh. Was actually um, in the hills further uh, to the wait. This would be south, so southeast. So the wait, no. What heading are we on? Yeah, so We're southwest heading. of us, southwest. Um, mm -hmm. at our like two o'clock in those okay. kind of hills, not yeah. quite going up to the mountains, but in the hills. Mm -hmm. Um, where's where a bunch of nuclear fallout shelters were built in the fifties and sixties. Nice. Um, because this was determined to be the safest location in the western United States in case of nuclear attack by the Soviets. So people built their fallout shelters in here and stocked them with food and supplies. The only reason I know that is because my other grandfather, when he was logging and cutting down trees, uh, found one. Oh. And, uh, yeah. And uh, they got lots of spam and all kinds of goodies from it. So, yeah. Because nobody had been there in what looked like decades. Nifty. Yeah. Hey, you definitely increased speed. I'm at 102? Nice. I'm at 112, so I'm going to catch up to you. That's fine. Yep, they built fallout shelters in the in the hills there. Because, you know, there's in nothing, the they there's bunkers, nothing yes. important in Scotts Valley, but there's a lot of important things no. more in the center It was valley. because it was determined that from the way the wind blows in from the shore and the mountains surrounding it, um, fallout wouldn't blow down into the valley. Uh, they would blow around it. So it would be the safest spot to survive in case of uh, nuclear war. Fun fact. Getting big Hope County vibes. Mm. <laughs> What's Hope County? From Fall, uh, Far Cry 5. Oh. Keep your rifle by your side. Right. Uh, incorrect heading. Should be okay. fine. Yeah, there it goes. It went away. So, okay, so here's a fun thing. No? Uh, a buddy of mine is a Caltrans bridge engineer, 
and they said at one point in the 60s, the plan was if there was ever an invasion of the West Coast, that the National Guard would pull back to the Sierra Nevadas, and they would blow all the major highway bridges in the, in the Sierra Nevadas at, at critical choke points. Well, because it's, like, if you blow 80, 50, and 88, like, there's no way you're getting over the map passes with any kind of motorized mm -hmm. force. Like, you would have to go all the way down south. Yep. Or super far north, because th th those are like, if 80's ever down, the only other way up is 50, really. Because 88's always scuffed already. Yep. Um, yeah. That way, the only major points of defense that they would have to worry about are basically Southern California. Th those That's mm -hmm. the only easy way past the Sierra Nevadas at that point. Or up through Oregon, and that's still a myriad of hills and mountains. Vibin' in flight sim, and Jasky showing are. me around big meth country. Oh, this part is not big meth Oh, country. this part isn't meth country. This no. is fallout if you shelter look, If country. you look to your your 3 o'clock, um, once you get over those mountains, if you kind of go on the VFR map, uh, mm -hmm. go over those mountains, and there's like another little river valley over there, that's big meth that's country. That's big meth country. Because nobody okay. goes over there, including the federal government. So, yeah. Oh yeah, there's Jamie. There's mountain warfare schools all over the Sierra. In fact, there's a really big mountain warfare school up Highway 80 somewhere. That's where a lot of the western, uh, for the western part of the U.S. forces train in mountain and snow combat and stuff. It's kind of cool. They do some freaky deaky shit. How's everyone from Dawson's stream doing? This is I know this is probably a change of pace from whatever he was playing. Yeah, we are flying to meth country. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, Jasky, uh, you you want to tell chat why why you were playing flight sim? What what new acquisition did you? Ah, so for those of you who don't know, oh, my name is that's very Jasky. close to your mic. Jesus Christ! It is. Hello. Yes, I'm I'm speaking directly to chat now. Hello. Oh, God. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the previous graphics card I had for the last four years was a 1060. But not the good kind, the three gigabyte kind, which was absolute dog shit. And I just recently was able to score a 3070K Asus from the New Egg Shuffle somehow. Um, yeah, so I just got that the other day, slapped that bad boy in, and I've been enjoying all the games I couldn't beforehand. It's been quite lovely. And I taught him how to take off a Cessna 172 with a PlayStation with controller. A gamepad. Essentially. It, no, it's even worse. A Windows Logitech controller. Ugh. There's nothing good about it. Oh no. Yeah. Nice. Alright. Off to our uh nope, that's not it. I think it was a little bit behind me there. Is uh the gulch, I think. Where is where's Edna? We already yeah. passed Edna. I think we already passed Edna. This Edna... It's just not rendered in. Huh. Where's Ed Edna in comparison to where those two rivers meet below us? Um, much further south. So I guess we missed it. I mean, it's very small, so I'm not surprised. Okay. Yeah, I think it was rendered back over there. Oh, somewhere. all right. Yeah. Well, uh, we need to pick oh, well. what we're going to do, because we're either going to climb, if, climb over the mountains heading this direction or make a turn. Uh, let's, let's or if you just go to the, uh, to the right and head to the coast. All right, let's head right. Let's do heading two four zero. No idea where. And what's below us? Orleans, the oh. small meth infested town that my great grandfather lived in for the majority of his life. Oh. I visited. It, it was nice. Um, before it was you know meth infested. Um, yeah, I mean, it, there was just it was a nice little tiny, tiny little valley, and like a general store, a bunch of RVs, an old men from the Vietnam War, and a bunch of fruit trees. It was nice. You All know? right. Yeah, good fishing. It, it was very untouched. You know, like there there was no Walmart nearby. There was no McDonald's. There was it was very, very much a blast from the past. Like the most modern thing there, I think, was uh a blackberry my dad had at the time. Oh, Jesus. Yeah.
Yeah. Besides that, there's like one road that goes through here. Um, yeah, otherwise than that, it's just wilderness. Alrighty then. should be looking for an airport about now. Oh. No, I'm I've got uh, about eight gap eight Yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We're not in the yellow yet, we're still in the green. Alright, I'm gonna turn to a heading of Okay, I'm just gonna turn dead south, one eight zero. That'll overfly uh, Eureka. Not Fort Bragg, Eureka. The Fort Bragg and Eureka aren't near each other. I'm a fucking moron. I is big dumb. Uh-oh. Ooh, very sensitive stick. Oh, oh. Are you turning Ooh. manually? Uh, I was. Oh. Very sensitive stick. Can I see beacon lights yet? I cannot see beacon lights yet. Eh, maybe. Oh. All right. Remember where I told you to look for the airport? Vaguely. Hold on. Look in that direction. Tell me river. if you see anything. Up the river. Little S bend. Uh, look in that area. Oh, yes. Hello. Do you see two blinking white lights? I think so. Yep. That is the end of runway. That would be 1-1. One, one. Hell yeah. That's where we're heading. Ah. Beautiful. We're going to start turning here. So here's what we're going to do. We're not going to turn yet, but we are going to take our altitude knob. Mm -hmm. We're going to set it for 4,000. And you're going to hit FLC. And you're going to slowly pull your throttle back. Just a little bit. Until the nose dips. You're gonna pull your throttle back until on the side of your altitude uh, panel on the Garmin screen, there's another little arrow next to it. That's your vertical speed. You're gonna pull it back till it says about 450 or 500. It doesn't take much. But now the, the, flight, the flight level change is doing the opposite. Instead of climbing and keeping you at a low air speed, you set it to the airspeed you were at level flight and pulled the throttle back and now it's gonna nose down to keep you at 100 and something knots. Make sense? Yeah. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. So, here in a minute. We're gonna turn up river. I'm gonna fly by hand. You can do whatever it is you wanna do as long as you stay behind me. Oh. Here's what I plan to do. You're gonna follow behind me by like four or 500 yards. All right. As best you can. I'm basically gonna "Quote unquote," tow you through the through the approach and landing, and as I'm coming into land and you're coming into land behind me, I'm just gonna do a, a go around, and you're gonna touch down and land. Ah, I see. So I'm basically your like guide, mm -hmm. right up until I get to the final landing stage, and then I'm gonna full power out of there, and you're gonna touch down and land. Sound like a plan? Okay. okay. Sure. I'm currently positioning myself directly behind you. Okay, I really wish I knew how to work replay controls or, like, 
yep. drone I'm controls. I'm coming up on you a little hot here. Yeah, a little hot. That's all right. A little just, hot. Yeah, yeah, so, out. but here's the thing. The Decreasing throttle. your throttle is not going to slow you down. It's just going to make you go down faster. So you need to use those up and down buttons we talked about before to lower your airspeed. Because right now it's it's pitching you down to maintain that airspeed. So if you lower it, it'll pitch you down less. But you can pull the throttle out more. Does that make sense? Oh, look at you. Okay. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi. I did say I wanted to open the Yeah, you're, you're zooming. I pull your speed back a little bit. Uh, yep, I am. But then decrease your throttle again to maintain about a 500 foot so that's the descent. Uh, 500 feet per minute descent. There you go. I'm going, I'm going 105. Set mine to like. Okay, okay. Now you're dropping like a rock. Oh, if I. Oh, I that's okay. Keep keep it at keep it at 100. Oh no, that that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. 105. 105. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because my throttle was pretty. It was like at 50. Yeah. Keep that that little indicator I told you about at mm -hmm. about 450, 500. So if you need to pull the throttle out a little bit, I'm, I like I need to right now. See, the plane will practically fly itself if it has a Garmin mm -hmm. 1000. And all this same stuff I'm telling you about, like the flight level change and inputting the altitude and heading, that's exactly how the Airbus A320 works. Hmm. Especially if you preload, like if you chose a destination and a takeoff point before you've loaded the flight, it's literally, once you take off, you hit autopilot and you don't have to touch a damn thing until you're on the ground. Ooh, you're getting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. Getting uh, spicy. Getting, mm -hmm. Okay. Not yep. sure why. Yep. You're good. Am I close to you? No, you're fine. Oh, no. hello. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Don't overcorrect. Just vibe. You're you're overcorrecting. Freaking out a bit. No, it's fine. What are you talking about? Okay, it's I'm fine. gonna hand fly now. I'm gonna hand fly. I'm gonna maintain my about. I'm gonna go and do about a 600, 700, 800 feet per minute descent. Right. I'm gonna pull my throttle in. And I'm gonna slowly start turning upriver. Once we do that, try to try to get behind me. All right. Yeah, I'm doing autopilot for a bit so I can fiddle with controls while I fly upriver. Here. <laughs> Once I get near the airport, I'm just going to be circling until you are ready. Oh, this is perfect. I'm basically turning right in for the runway. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep my speed at 100. Do not exceed 100 so you don't pass me. Mm -hmm. This requires focus. Don't be tabbing out looking at fucking Samsung Girl Rule 34. Samsung Girl 34. Alright, so we're gonna kinda look at the terrain. The airport's kind of on a plateau. So that's nice. That means it's higher than everything around it, but that also means if we're too low on approach, <laughs> mount the cliffside. Alright, my speed is dropping to 90. I'm gonna increase throttle. And I wanna stay stay above fifteen hundred feet right now. I'm going to try to maintain 100 knots. So what we want to do is keep flying and when the end of the runway, the, the, the far end from where we are, is about 45 degrees over our shoulder behind us, we're going to make a turn 90 degrees to the right. So that would be 200. Zero, zero. And then that'll be our crosswind leg, because we're crossing the wind. Makes sense? Yeah. All right. So while we're getting ready to make that turn, I'm going to talk to you about a couple things. As you're coming in for landing, I'm going to give you flap and airspeed instructions. Try to maintain them as best you can. 
We're going to just slowly increase our flaps as we come in. Once you get over the threshold of the runway, bring your power all the way back to idle. And just keeping the nose just barely above the horizon on your um, GPS, you know, pitch indicator. You're just going to slowly let the aircraft float down onto the runway. Once you touch down all the wheels, I don't know what your brake button is, but you better fucking find out. Or just par parking brake. You have enough runway to do See, that, but you I need... I know how to do the parking brake. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so just touch down, throttle idle, brake, and come to a stop, and then you can taxi off the runway for me to come land, all right? All right. I am going to begin my turn here in just a second to two zero zero. Copy. You're gonna come around right behind me. Just a gentle turn, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, still maintaining about a hundred knots. You're gonna drop speed in the turn, so you might need to put give it a little bit of power. Don't panic. As you start to come through like 210, roll back over, end at 200. So now we are crosswind, so if you look out your window, you'll see the runway to your left. Yep, look at that. Beautiful. And we're going to fly this direction for a little bit till we're about half a mile. Kind of, We're going to do almost the exact same thing. We're going to fly almost over the exact same mountains, but now we're lower now, so we're not going to do quite that same thing. Still maintaining. I'm a little high, so I'm going to come down. Uh, maintaining... 1500. Another thing, I don't know if this airport has them. I don't think it does. Uh, the Pappy lights, those are the white and red lights that tell you if you're too high or too low. If it does have Pappy lights, you want half white, half red. That means you're on the slope. If they're red, all red, you're too low. If they're all white, you're too high. No matter what, though, your, your target is the um, two big white strips at the end of the runway. That's where you want to touch down. I'm going to come to 110. So now we're going to be flying the the downwind leg. Still at about 1,500 feet for now, just because we got mountains and hills. We are going to begin to drop our speed a little bit. I'm just going to turn around to uh, 290. And then we can adjust getting even with the runway from there. Bring your flaps down to the first notch, so 33%. Adjust your throttle as necessary to keep your speed at about 90. Alright. I am in line with the airport. I am a little low. I'm going to climb, so I'm going to increase my throttle, keep your flaps out where they are. I'm going to climb to about 1,200 again, just to give us a little more room. Alright. Look at this approach. Beautiful. Yep. Are you behind me doing about 90 knots? Yep. Okay. Flaps are at one notch. Mm -hmm. Excellent. If you look on your Garmin, you can see the airport there. So if you get to, if it gets to the last few seconds and you cannot see the runway, you can always use the GPS. Make sure your speed is 90. Oh, hello. Hello, Chris. How you doing? Your speed is 90. Your flaps are 33%. Mm -hmm. You're going to carefully because you're at final approach now you're going to drop your flaps one more notch increase speed is if necessary to stay at about 80 knots you're going to slowly start descending to the runway and as you descend your speed's going to pick up so pull your throttle back to stay at about 85 or 80 knots how are you looking I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Still behind me? Mm hmm. I will. I'm also behind you and Chris, but. Start slowing down. Chris has the same plane as me. Start slowing down to about 80. 
All right, I'm about to take off, go around. It's up to you now. You're gonna set it. You, you're gonna set it right on the two nine. Remember, cut throttle right as you approach the runway, and just touch the wheels down, push the nose in, and parking brake. I am going around. Copy. You bounced a little bit, that's okay. Stick with it. You're going slow enough that you should be able to stop the airframe before the end of the runway. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. Come to a stop, or come to get slow. You don't have to come to a full stop. Sorry, sorry. All right, so you're gonna taxi to the end of the runway, turn right off onto the taxiway, and I'm gonna come in for my landing. Good job. Look at I was that. Bitching. I didn't even. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good, eh? Hey, Chris is behind me. Hello, Chris. Thanks for uh, thanks for being here. I wonder if he had to have been following along on stream. Oh, I hope I hope that was correct and or helpful. I do not know what your skill level is, Chris. I'm gonna try for a short final here. Hilo Foxtrot, Oscar Tango, Dragon 1211, short final, runway 29. throttle stick is not going in all the way. I think I might have fucked it up a bit. That's okay. I'm just going to make an exceptionally wide turn here. That's fine. Increase throttle now, if I do this right, I should be able to turn in the taxiway in the middle of the runway and go. beat you to parking. There we go. There we go. It looks like parking is all the way at the other end of the taxiway from you. Yeah, we we'll land and shut down and 500. do whatever it is we do. Ooh, ooh, a little, a little fast. That's okay. I'll just be alongside Chris here. Hello. Yeah, doing this with a uh, here I come triggers I have to keep continuously pressing is very awful, but that's okay. Who needs? Who needs runways Ooh. anyway? Hmm? I have stopped? What did I stop? Did I... Hmm. Not sure why I stopped. That was weird. Alright. I'm taking a shortcut. Who are you? Yep. Oh, don't worry, I, I took a shortcut as well, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, that yeah, that's a high rate of speed for a taxi. Yep, yep, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm turning as fast as I can. You're about to slip off the edge of the airport, my dear. Are you drive I Are you going through a drive through at that Starbucks? What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> what the it took me a minute to Yeah, there we go. I have to continuously press the trigger to actually make it turn. I can't hold it down. Oh god. Come on. Wah. Yep. <sighs> like I got a salute from this nice African American lady. Or man, man lady. <laughs> I'm about to run into Oh no. Please stop. No. More. Please stop. Please stop. Please please stop. Ooh. You're like half transparent. Okay, you're stopped. Look now, at that. Our now tip take, is almost touching. Now take the red lever that I the cutoff lever and just pull it all the way out. Uh Bam! Look! Look at that! Look! Look! Look at that! It wasn't that? Fun. That was good. That was good. Yeah. And if you want to stop the beeping, you turn the two red switches on the right, the left side no, of your panel off. Nothing. Oh. 
Oh no, that was the wrong one. Why is there more alarms now? Oh no. Oh, and turn off Where the two red, the two red and the two white switches. 